Hey guys, Chad Trofkerbin here from the Incredible Tutorials YouTube channel. Jim Mills and I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 10 tutorials. So I hope you're ready, because we're about to get started. With Anime Studio Pro, you're given the ability to design 3D shapes right in the software. All it requires you to do is create a shape in a vector layer. In this example, I have two vector layers. First, I'll double click on the layer that has the rectangle. Now in my layer settings, I have a tab entitled 3D Options, so I'll click that. And now I can convert this object into a 3D shape. So if I come down here to None, I have three options, Extrude, Lathe, and Inflate. Each of these will give our object a different look. Let's start with the first option. Now you have the option to choose different edges, such as silhouettes, materials, and creases. And you can give yourself edge extensions or adjust the threshold for the creases. You also have shading types, such as smooth, tune, and hatched. You can choose the color of the shading as well as the density for certain shading options. And in the other category, you can reset the Z buffer. But for right now, let's just try what I have here and click OK. You can see now, when I take my orbit tool, and I just pan around here, we can definitely see that this is a 3D shape. The star, of course, is not, because we have yet to convert that into a 3D shape. But like I said, now if we go back into this rectangle layer, go to 3D options, we can try the different 3D conversions. You can see this definitely gives us a different looking object. As well as this one. So these are just options you can play around with if you're looking to create 3D objects in Anime Studio. And that wraps up this lesson. If you have any more questions regarding Anime Studio, please visit the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Thanks for watching, guys. I have more Anime Studio 9 tutorials out there, so be sure to check those out, and I'll see you next time.